Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to make these knitting themed cupcake toppers. Now I actually made these to go with these sewing and knitting cupcake toppers and if you'd like to see the sewing tutorial then I'll leave a link to that in the description. Okay let's begin with the ball of wool. To begin with I rolled about 10 grams of blue modelling paste into a ball shape. I then took some more of the same colour and I formed them into small tubes using my hands and I also used a cake smoother to help me too. I needed it to be quite long because I was going to wrap it around the ball. So here I'm using the cake smoother, it just helps make it a little bit longer and makes it a little bit more even. So now I'm just going to add some clear alcohol, you could add edible glue if you prefer. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wrap that tube of modelling paste around the ball. Just roll in the ball and then wrapping the modelling paste around the ball. Keep going all the way. Just going to snip the end off there. Just going to smooth it off. We don't really want any gaps. Okay, so that's that side done. And now I'm just making another tube of modelling paste just to wrap around the other side. And now I'm just going to fill in the little gap at the end there with a little piece of modelling paste. So now I'm going to form some more tubes of modelling paste to wrap around over the top of what we've just done. Just checking that for size. And there, just going to wrap it around until it meets. Trim it with some scissors. Don't worry about the join because that will be covered up with some more tubes of modelling paste later. So now I'm just going to go ahead and place two more tubes of modelling paste around the middle of the ball. Okay, so here I've formed three more tubes of modelling paste and I'm just going to stick them together a little bit just to help me before I put them on top of the ball going across so we hide up the join that we made earlier. And then I'm just going to trim that with a knife. Okay, so now I've got my last three strips of modelling paste, but before I attach them, I'm just using a modelling tool just to press down slightly where they're going to go. I'm kind of going diagonally across. This will give the strips somewhere to fit into so they don't bulge out too much. And now I'm just going to stick those into position and trim with a knife again and then shape with my fingers.
So here I've got a white circle of modelling paste that I made the day before, so it's now dry and set. And I've just rolled out a little bit of more blue modelling paste just to stick into position so it looks like a little bit of the wool is coming off the ball. Just checking that for size. And I'm just going to flatten the end where the ball of wool will be on top of. Add a little bit more clear alcohol and then place that into position. Okay, so to make the knitting needles, I took some grey modelling paste and I just moulded it into a strip with a little pointed end, slightly tapered. There you go, and I'm just checking that for size again on top of the cake topper. Okay, so now I'm just going to make the second knitting needle using the first one as a guide so I get them the same size and then once I'm happy with them I just leave them aside to dry and here you can see they're dry and I'm just going to use some clear alcohol just to stick them into position on top of the cupcake topper you may need to hold them into position for a little while because as they're dry they take a little bit longer to stick And now I'm just going to create some little ends to the needles by just forming a small piece of grey modelling paste into like a little tic-tac shape and then just using some clear alcohol to stick it into position. As I said it will move about a little bit because it will take a while to dry. Okay and that's your ball of wool and knitting needles cake topper made. So now let's move on to the piece of knitting cake topper. So to begin with I just rolled out some pink modelling paste into a tube shape exactly the same way as we did for the wool and then I folded it in half as you can see here and then I just take one end and I twist it round just like that. So now I'm just going to roll out another tube of pink modelling paste fold it in half but this time I'm going to wind it from the other end You can see when I put them together they look like a stocking stitch. So then I carried on just doing this, winding it one way and the next time winding it the other, building up my piece of knitting until it was big as I wanted it to be. So here I've got my pre-made white disc again and I'm just checking for size. Just going to trim them with a knife because they're a little bit too long. Now I'm happy with the length, I'm just going to stick them into position with some clear alcohol making sure there's a bit of a gap at the top for the knitting needle to go. So now they're all stuck in position and I'm just using the vein end of a flute and veining tool just to uh, press down between each one just to create a little bit of an indent in preparation for adding the needle. So here I am making the needle, again just rolling a little bit of grey modelling paste using my smoother just to keep it nice straight and even. Just need it to be a little bit thinner. Okay now I'm just using some clear alcohol and I'm just going to stick that into position. And I'm just going to use this cake smoother just to straighten it off there. Okay, so now we're just going to put the little bits of wool that go over the needle by just rolling some small pieces in the palm of my hand. And then you can see why I've made that little bit of a groove before, because I can just pop that bit of modelling paste in that groove and then trim the edge and then smooth it off using my brush. So this is how I created all the bits of wool that go along the needle. There we go, and I'm just going to make sure that I've got a little bit of space and just tidying that up with my brush. Straighten it and just make sure there's a little gap between each stitch. And lastly, I'm just using my blade tool just to neaten everything off and secure everything's in position. I really hope that you found this tutorial useful. 
Don't forget to check out my other ones. Please comment, like and subscribe for more and hit that notification bell. It really helps my channel. Thanks for watching.